Welcome back to the quest already in progress. On, and let's play Daggerfall, of course. When we last left off, I decided to go a bunch, do a bunch of chopping and stuff like that. And do some random small time quest that took fr freaking forever. One, killing a dragonling. That took better part of a day, actually. Mostly because I actually had to do some stuff in real life, too, but whatever. But uh, in the meantime, I didn't gain a level, boringly, but I did practice a lot of restoration and some destruction, alteration, which means that I'm now a warlock in the major skills. You know, kind of like my class. Yeah. So with that over with, uh, let's check out what I got. I found this neat thing and bought. It was expensive. And this. I made this mantle of the day star. I, st I stuck that dragonling in there. It gives me charisma and which basically personality. Willpower because somebody said that um, it might help resisting the battle mages. And trolls blood. It will make me regenerate. Passively. Enhancing critical strike. Which is handy. And improves talents like athleticism, so we shouldn't lose um, fatigue just as much. However, with that sorted, let's go ahead for the quest I have, which is basically another go and kill the Blooming Daedra. So let's go and do that. Um, here. What the hell? Okay. Apparently I'm escorting somebody. Don't know who. Why? Your vision hazes and the world grows dim. Out of the grey, a woman a woman's face appears. Medora! Richter, your efforts to free me have not been in vain. I have discovered a powder that will soothe the ghost of my beloved Lysandus. However, it is in the hands of Gortwog, warlord of the orcs, in his steel citadel of Orsinium. Go to him in Orsinium and see if there is anything that can be done to persuade him to give it to you. Bring the powder back to me in the Rinne Tower once you have it. The vision clears. Sometimes you wish the sorcerers would just turn letters like other folks do. People in general have been incredibly bad at sending me letters. At least if you ask me. You know, something I, li I like about Daggerfall is that um, you're basically not the chosen. I'm stop escorting him now, okay? Yeah, as I was going to say, you're basically not the chosen one that will save the universe. You had a similar thing going in Oblivion. Hello, zombie. However, Morrowind ruined that by um, you being the chosen one. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who haven't completed the main quest. But yeah, for us that has cleared the main quest, it's pretty obvious that you are the chosen one. Kinda. Now that I am a warlock in the mage guild that allows me to summon Daedra, which I was thinking of doing at a later date, um, provide, provided of course that I can raise the money to do so because it's probably going to cost me like 200,000 gold. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure the royal guards equipment budget in Daggerfall are sufficient to cover those expenses. There's an awful lot of werebores in here. Oh, that actually reminds me, I did make another item. Um, 
here. Ruby of Unrequited Love, which is basically I just stuck the Dave the Seducer in there. And funnily enough, good reputation with everyone should work even if it's um, just in my inventory and not worn. Nice loot. Well, that's not, not, that's not loot everything. Oh, and I also found these Mithril Greaves. But for some reason, I'm still stuck on, on steel gauntlets. And it's annoying me. I am look. I, I am starting to look like a complete bellend. However, kind of like the first hour or two into the new expansion pack for World of Warcraft, when you start replacing all your set pieces to this random assortment of random stuff. be honest, I think the best best uh, World of Warcraft time period was uh, Burning Crusade. I had the most fun back then. Didn't grow quite as fun in What the Fuck Luck Lich King. got a little too easy to be honest. Then again, they sort of rectified that obviously with Cataclysm where every everything became mind-numbingly hard. Not that I'm against the challenge, but I'm not going to pay money every month to get pissed on. There are far more efficient services for that. I'm not speaking from personal experience or anything, but yeah, I you know. Rule 34, stuff like that. You're basically, supposed to find the daydream here. Because the gates of oblivion or something, something is opening up and threatening to turn the world apart, something, something, yeah. No. Ah oh well. On earth was she carrying two helmets? Hmm. Maybe it's related to giving head. No, I wanted to protect everyone and stuff. I, I don't know. Excuse me, zombie, I didn't see you there. Oh, Chain gauntlets. Come on, game. Does seem that I might actually make a bit of a profit in here. And after this and delivering the quest, I suppose no, no, I'm not going to question you. No, 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 no. I was going to make a summoning on the twenty-first, the first seed, provided I can get the money. That's the ticket.
Not that there, not that there is much use really for me to summon a date, but you know. Oh, I've been summoning Daedra, summoning Daedra. I'm going to summon a Daedra Prince. There's a very big difference. There's an alarming lack of data in here. See if we can't find those caves again. Well, that's enough for this video then. When we return, we'll explore more of this place and see if we can't find the Daedra. I'll see you then.